Anyways, we're heading to the gym this morning. Um, I've been up since five. Woke up super early to fill orders. I got mm, I got ten orders filled, so I think I still have probably ten more. <laughs> but um, we had a live launch this weekend. If you've been keeping up with my boutique, I launched a resort wear collection, which is just like so exciting. It was so fun just picking out all the stuff and then like creating a vision and having like a photo shoot like we did a tropical photo shoot we went to like a little hotel um that has like a really tropical vibe there and we stayed the night and then did the photo shoot in the morning so it was so much fun and um the launch went really really well i actually already sold out of one thing but i uh restocked it so if you haven't checked it out you should totally check it out um so it's keeping me super super busy I've got a ton of packages here um, that I worked on this morning to take to the post office. And you guys, I left one of my garment bags at the hotel. I called them this morning and they have it. So I have to go up there. It's kind of far too. It's like 45 minutes from us, but it's okay. Um, I'm just thankful they have it. I cannot believe I left one. I had four garment bags and it was just a little chaotic leaving and stuff. And so I ended up forgetting one. So. Thankfully they have it because that would have been really bad losing all those clothing pieces. So we gotta go there after the gym. But I just wanted to pick up the camera vlog today, do my weekly vlog. I know I wanna try to do more, it's just been difficult, but today's a good day to do it because I've got kind of a busy day. I wanna update you guys on my diet. I need to order groceries. Typically I'm getting my groceries on Mondays, but I didn't even have time to do my grocery order yesterday because I was so busy um, with the launch. So I haven't had a chance to even order groceries. So I'll have to order our groceries and pick them up tomorrow. And just like get back into the swing of things, do laundry, all the things. So I'll take you guys along with our day. Just got done working out. I did spin and then just like five minutes of core. So I always do spin on Mondays and I'm starving. I brought one of my Alani new snacks with me. These are so good. I just ordered two more boxes. This is like, I think this is my th be the last one we had or maybe one more, but I ordered two more boxes from the vitamin shop because they're just so good. Um, anyways, now I have to run to the post office and drop off these packages and then I'm gonna run to the hotel to pick up my garment bag. And oh, then we're gonna go home. Oh, we're gonna go to a hotel, but we're just gonna run in and out. It'll be super quick. Okay, we just got home. I took my hair down because it's giving me a headache. And I'm honestly so tired because I, I said I woke up at five and um I didn't sleep well last night. I had a bunch of anxiety. I don't I don't know why I was anxious like all weekend. I think it was just because of the boutique launch which is so silly because it's like something i'm su i was super excited about and enjoying and like having fun packing orders and like doing all of it but i think it also can give me anxiety so i didn't sleep well last night i also like had bad dreams and stuff so i think i'm gonna go i just put the kids down for a nap so i think i'm gonna go lay down for a little bit too which i don't usually do um 
but I'm also on my period, so I feel like I deserve it. Anyways, um, I have to show you guys our deck because we finally got all the cushions cleaned and put out there, and it's super nice out today, so we might go out there. We got the boys' new table put together too, um, so I'll have to show you guys that. And I also got a bunch of swimsuits in from Adore Me. Um, I'm doing an Instagram collab with them so i need to take pictures and everything and i haven't tried any of them on yet i'm really excited to try them on so i'm gonna rest for a little bit actually who knows if i'll even fall asleep i'm gonna take my laptop with me and do some work um and just kind of rest for a little bit because i'm so exhausted already today <laughs> i'll show you guys my lunch today super random um but i have cottage cheese this is cucumbers with everything but the bagel seasoning, um, white balsamic vinaigrette dressing, and mozzarella cheese. And then this is egg um, salad, basically. It's hard-boiled eggs, mayo, spicy mustard, relish, and paprika, and pepper. So just three little <laughs> bowls of food. I'm um, just trying to be keto-friendly and somewhat healthy so this is my lunch i'm starving and i'm gonna feel good about eating all of this okay just opened up my adore me box i'm so excited for all these swimsuits i think i'll do a little swimsuit try on haul video and show you guys the ones i picked and then also get david to take some pictures of me in them for instagram but i'm so excited i'm so ready for swimsuit season okay this is the first swimsuit and honestly you guys I am still not like where I want to be as far as um, swimsuit ready season, so being a little bit vulnerable, but this is the first swimsuit. It's so cute. It's like, it's a one piece. It's all connected, but it makes it look like you're wearing, I don't know, it's just very unique styling of this one. Um, it's a very modest coverage, so it's nice for like family pool days. Uh, super cute. Okay, this one is another really cute one, especially for mom life because it's very like full coverage. Swimsuit's got this cute little cutout here and this lemon print. The straps, um, they go back like that, but then there's also like a teeny tiny little hook on one of them. So um, you can like hook it together and make it like a crisscross, um, but I can't really reach to do that. But I think it's cute, just like a low back too. So it's a very, very cute one. All right, this one is super cute. This one's like super sexy, which I like. Um, it's like a leopard print one, but then it's got this really high cut in the front and a little string going across. So, so cute. If you want to like still be like sexy and then wear a one piece, like this is the perfect option. This came in black as well. Um, and I just love it. So cute. Okay, this is the next one. These bottoms are amazing. I love a good high-waisted bottom because then I can still wear a two-piece and like feel comfortable in it. Um, it's so cute. It has these cutouts. I thought they were going to be on both sides, but it's just on one, but that kind of makes it even more unique and just solid black swimsuit. Um, the top I crisscrossed, but I think you can also wear it as like a halter um, so you can do different things with the straps. So I like the shape of this one a lot. It's so cute. Here's another good basic black swimsuit. I love this one too. I feel like black is just so flattering in swimsuits. And I love this one. It's like really deep with a little bar right here. I thought, um, I wasn't sure if it was going to cover all of my stretch marks or not. And it totally does. So it's like the perfect bottom part. Because sometimes they look like this and they go like too low. And then I just have saggy loose skin hanging over the top of it and it's not cute but this one's really cute and the back is like that again super modest i feel like you know target's kind of like a little risky which i don't mind at all but it is nice to have some with these like full bottoms because like i said for family pool days it's a little bit nice to have some more coverage so this one is so cute this one is so cute it's a little bit lower than i like as you can tell i know i know everyone has their own flaws though that they don't like and i just don't like that part of my stomach but it's still super flattering and super cute um the top is so adorable their stuff fits really well these are my first swimsuits from them um the back has like some tie-up details so 
definitely want to take a photo in this one for sure. I love it. Okay, then I have two more. This one, another one piece. I love how strappy it is. It has like this center strap and then it also has these like extra straps right here just to like give you the appearance of a strappy look because it's you know it's hard to achieve that when you're in a one piece so i love like any extra details like that and then the back is really strappy and cute too and the print of course is adorable okay here's the last one super fun with the crochet detail really cute cream color Again, a nice modest coverage. These are so nice. So that's all of them. I have to pick, I'm gonna pick a few to take pictures and they also sent me some pajamas. So I love working with this company. They're not doing any sponsorship for YouTube. I just wanted to share because I love sharing clothes with you guys. So. All right, I'm gonna run out really quick. I need lip gloss. Um, I ordered a couple eyeshadows for my neighbor who likes the lip scents and scentigen stuff that I sell. I don't really actively sell it anymore, but I still have my membership, so I ordered these for her. So I'm gonna go drop these off at her house. I'm bringing my little card swiper. Um, and I wanna check the mail because I saw that I just got in a couple of things. One of them is some keto-friendly flavoring for drinks so I'll show you guys those and then I also got in a pair of tennis shoes from Poshmark so I'm gonna check the mail um, and I also just got a um, appointment sorry my book I just got an appointment for tomorrow so I think I'm gonna vlog tomorrow as well because I think you guys might find this interesting um, but I have a consultation so if you've been following me you know that forever I've been wanting a tummy tuck so bad I'm just not ready to like fully bite the bullet of a tummy tuck yet um, if I did it would have to be at least when my parents move in which would be in the fall so that I have extra help with everything and I'm still like a little bit hesitant because of the scarring and just like the healing process and everything so anyways I'm still hesitant on a tummy tuck um, so I have a consultation tomorrow at a med spa that does laser skin resurfacing and cool sculpting. They do tons of other things, but those are the two that I'm kind of interested in. So I want to see what they say. I actually went there when I was six weeks postpartum with Cal. <laughs> and she was like, girl, you just had a baby. Like, come back later when you're done having kids. Like, see me later and we'll fix it. But like, you just had a baby. So... I'm gonna go tomorrow. I'm not sure if we're done having kids. I'm we're like 99% sure, but I feel like doing something like this that's non-surgical would be much better on my body and much easier, like no recovery time. So I'm really excited. Um, it's just a console. It's not like I'm really doing it. I just want to kind of see the prices and what they say. So I think I'm gonna vlog that for you guys because um, you might be interested in that. So I'm super excited, but yeah, I'm gonna go run this over to her house. Every time I pull out of my garage um, and pick up my mail and show you guys what I, what I got. Okay, I'm back from the mailbox. I wanted to show you guys what I got to try um, that would be fun for keto. So it's called Skinny Mixes. And um, I actually heard a lot of you guys said that you can get these at TJ Maxx and Home Goods sometimes. So that's definitely something to look into. But I just went to their website. I just literally, I Googled. Um, sugar-free coffee syrups and this is the website that came up and they had so many fun things so I just wanted to try some stuff so I got this is a keto syrup with MCT oil zero carb zero sugar this is salted caramel um, so it's sweetened with monk fruit and erythritol and stevia I'm not sure I had the erythritol I'm probably saying that wrong the other day um, in one of those like fake uh, keto bombs. It's like a fake sugar. Anyways, it kind of upset my stomach. A lot of people said doing keto, like a lot of the fake sugars can kind of like upset your stomach or if your body's not used to them. So hopefully I can tolerate this. Um, it has MCT oil, no artificial uh, sweeteners. So I thought this would be really fun for my coffee um, to add a little bit of flavor because I really like flavors in my coffee and I've been struggling to find something that doesn't upset my stomach because a lot of the dairy creamers that I was using are just like too sugary and too sweet and they're not good. 
So try that one. Um, and then I got this one is butter toffee. So this one's not keto. It doesn't have, or it is keto friendly, but it doesn't have the um, MCT oil in it. But it's just zero calories, zero sugar. Um, let's see, does it have carbs? No, no carbs. So this is a nice one. I just wanted to try. I like the toffee nut from Starbucks. It's my favorite. So I thought maybe this would be similar, butter toffee. And then I got a third coffee one. This is hazelnut. And this one has the MCT oil in it. These are all like $7.99, so not bad. And I think it was like buy, buy five, get one free, or I don't know. There was some sale going on too. So those three I got for coffee. I also grabbed three pumps for the coffee ones. And then I got three to try for cocktails. Um, so I got a strawberry key lime margarita. I just added tequila to our grocery list. Um, so this with tequila and ice and like slush it up could be a really fun like summer drink. Um, and then I don't drink a lot of liquor, so I'm not used to like mixers and stuff, but I wanted to try some different things. So then I also got pina colada mix, which I love pina coladas. So I ordered some rum <laughs> from our grocery order as well for pina coladas. Again, mix this up with ice and rum and then this. And then the last one I got is blueberry lavender. And this one um, could be good just as a regular drink, but also I was thinking with like vodka and soda water as another cocktail. So I've got all my summer cocktails ready and my coffee. So I'm excited to try these. I'll let you guys know how they are. If you've had, had any flavors that you recommend, let me know. They had pages and pages of flavors. So super fun. And then I also got something from Poshmark. Okay, so I got some APL sneakers. My friend at the gym, she has these, um, not this exact pair, but she has a couple pairs by them. And I always love them. So instead of going to their website, I just decided to buy some on Poshmark for like half the price. So they are still in the box. I think they are used though. I got them in a seven and a half. It looks like they are a Lululemon company or they collabed with Lululemon. So super excited. And if I like them, I might I have my eye on another pair too from Poshmark. So sweet. I love supporting people on Poshmark. These are so cute. Those are really good condition. There's the bottom, so you can see they're slightly worn, but like, those are so cute. Um, so I got them for 75, and I think these retail for at least 120, maybe more. Um, and then plus I always have Poshmark money in my account, so they're basically free. <laughs> those are so cute. I love them, they're baby pink. And then the other pair I have my eye on are white with nude laces, so really cute. And then a few things came in for the store today as well. I got these mama necklaces. Sorry, the lighting in here is crazy. These are super cute. They say mama. Um, these three are already sold. They're actually a custom length, but I have some on the website right now that are 15 inch length and they're so cute. I kept one for myself. So I have these three custom ones. And then I also got in some more hats. These are like a fun straw hat. And then I also got in another rancher hat this one is in a dusty blue it's kind of like a bluish gray color um it's the exact same hat as our pink rancher which is sold out now so this is a fun new replacement color and i'm loving these hats for spring these are both 36 i need to get them on the website so fun stuff all right you guys i am back i my tan i'm trying to exfoliate my spray tan off but it's still kind of patchy i just got out of the bath clearly i just put crew in the bath um ordered our dinner i also did inventory stuff and took those photos for instagram so i've been a little bit productive um and david went to go get taco bell because we didn't get groceries yet um i did order my groceries for the week but i'm picking them up tomorrow so anyways i want to show you guys what i got i got this last week and it was so good Oh, and by the way, these are the new pajamas that I got from Adore Me. How cute are they? I love the pink leopard little silk short set. So cute. Okay, let me show you guys what I got. 
So I just do it on the app because it's easier. Um, the nachos are for David and the quesadilla is for David. Then for me, I get the cheesy Fiesta potatoes, remove the potatoes, and then I add um, ground beef, onions, guacamole, and avocado ranch sauce. So it's basically like a tiny little bowl filled with nacho cheese, um, sour cream, and then beef and these toppings. And I ordered two of them, so they come out to be about $3 for each bowl. So I order two of those, and then I get the power veggie bowl um, minus the black beans and rice. And then I added extra sauce, and then I added uh, ground beef. So between those three bowls, I will mix all of that together. I also have some shredded lettuce. I might even put avocado on top. We'll see how hungry I am. Um, but I have shredded lettuce here at home, so I'm going to mix that all together and make like a huge taco salad. Then I also got a Pepsi Zero. Um, it was just sounding really, really good to me. So that's my dinner, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it gets here. But that's a good way to order if you're trying to be like keto friendly. Just finished packing orders again. Um, I didn't get all the way finished, but it's getting late and I think we're gonna have dinner soon, but I got one, two, three, four, five. Five done, this one's a local. So, that's good. Um, I'm gonna bring my stuff back upstairs, my iPad, my computer, and I got my soda, it's really yummy. Um, I need my phone and then the packages. I need to turn off my little light. I just love coming in here and turning on my light. So, done with that. I might try to wake up early again tomorrow morning so that I can finish packing things, but it's just a never ending gig, which is fine. It's so much fun, but. Okay, I'm gonna get my dinner ready and update you guys on my diet because I totally forgot that I mentioned that in the beginning of this video. But basically, I've still been um, keto-ish for the past week now. And over the weekend, it was a lot harder, but I, got um like a burger and fries at a fast food place but i just got no bun i got it wrapped in lettuce instead and then i took my block um from plexus for the fries and then we got chick-fil-a and i got grilled nuggets so i'm definitely making better choices and then saturday night we were out at dinner and i had another burger with no bun and then a salad so i'm making better choices and i can totally tell the difference and it's helping so for taco bell i just did a plate of shredded lettuce this is my bowl oh that looks so good so this is how the bowl looks so normally there's beans and rice that's how i actually used to get it um which was so good but no more beans and rice so it's ground beef that green stuff is avocado ranch sour cream lettuce cheese and tomatoes and then um, I'm just gonna dump this on top. Got a videographer. Okay, I'm gonna dump this just all over. And then the other two little things I got. What are you smirking about? 
So these are the little cheesy potatoes, but there's no potatoes in it. So guacamole, avocado ranch. <laughs> it's just basically toppings and beef. It's delicious. Nacho cheese. And these are $3. And just like that, you've got a really delicious Taco Bell taco salad. So good. And it's super filling. All right, we've got the keto dinner and the non keto dinner. dinner. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to call it a night. Um, we're going to watch some Summer House, eat our dinner. And then I'm gonna edit this video and I am gonna vlog again tomorrow so I will have at least two vlogs up this week for you guys.